Buenos dias to no. Can you guys hear me? Okay, good. Because I can't hear myself up here. But anyways, buenos dias. Good morning. Thank you, Martha. I told her to introduce me as Julie Zerowitz the Great. Uh, and she says, I'm Martha the Great. And I said, we're all the great, which is really great. Anyways, I'm really happy to be here at the Lat LATAM Startups Conference this morning. Um, and uh, I'm going to start off by acknowledging that we're here today on the traditional territory of many, many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. And it's now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis people. And we also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. I'm really, really uh, very pleased to be here on behalf of my colleague, Philomena Tassi, Minister responsible for the Federal Economic Development Agency for Southern Ontario, also known as FedDev Ontario. I want to thank Martha and Miriam and the entire team at uh, LATAM Startups for welcoming me today. And I want to thank uh, you for all being here today. Je remercie à Martha et Miriam et l'équipe de LATAM Startups de m'accueillir aujourd'hui. I'm really, really incredibly proud uh, that um, I am, I'm, I'm very proud of the Latin American community here in Canada. It's the second time that I'm here at this uh, LATAM uh, startup uh, conference, and I'm really honored to be back. For those that don't know, soy un medio mexicana, medio ucraniano, pero 100% canadiense. You know, my mom uh, came from Mexico, and uh, so I, I learned the, the, Mex the uh, Spanish language, and I studied Ukrainian for 11 years, and while I retained most of my Spanish, I've completely forgotten most of my Ukrainian. But, uh, and I've been very blessed to, uh, to be in politics for eight years, and I'll tell you, over the last eight years, I've made sure to, ma to be a champion of the Latin American and Hispanic community here in Canada. And I will tell you that over those eight years, the community has grown and has increasingly become very sophisticated. And it's really, really beautiful to see. I see the community becoming more networked, uh, stronger, uh, working uh, better together, and it's grown uh, much larger in the last eight years. And I, I think you should feel really proud of yourselves. Um, I'm going to uh, spend uh, just a couple of minutes just talking a little bit about the federal government and our support uh, for startups and some of the work that FedDev uh, Ontario does. And then I'll end off with uh, a few pieces of advice. Um, it's graduation season right now, so I've done about uh, six, seven, eight graduations, and I have another four or five this week. So I have these pieces of advice that's rolling around my head, and I'd love to share it with you, because I figure it doesn't matter what age you are. Every day we could use always a little bit of motivation and a little bit of inspiration. So our, Fed Dev, our federal government is so proud to be part of LATEM Startups. It's such an important initiative. Supporting startups, particularly international organizations, and those led by underrepresented, uh, uh, underrepresented groups to grow in Canada is vital to ensure a thriving economy. Everyone who's part of LATEM Startups provides diverse perspective and ideas that are key to innovation. And that's why the government of Canada continues to make targeted investments to ensure that companies have the access to the tools and resources they need to succeed with the goal of creating fair and equal opportunities for all. This includes a FedDev Ontario investment of $3 million for LATAM startups in partnerships with TechPlace, Halt Tech, and Innovation Factory to deliver startup programs, a business support network to help international startups in the technology sector to incorporate, conduct business, and create jobs while establishing their businesses in Southern Ontario. To date, the project has supported 50 new businesses, created and maintained 321 jobs, and formed three collaborations. This is really amazing news, and we know that there's so much more on the horizon. C'est une excellente nouvelle, et nous savons qu'il qu y a beaucoup de choses à l'horizon. It is clear that the work you do benefits companies as they transition into the Canadian mar market and provides them with the support needed so that they can thrive here for years to come. These international entrepreneurs from key sectors such as manufacturing, clean tech, and health and life sciences are benefiting from access to business advisory services, networking opportunities, culture coaching, GBA plus training, and local market insight. And conferences like this one today bring together like-minded creatives and business people to share insights from the startup world here in Canada and globally and form lasting connections that will further help with their journeys. So this is, 
that's, that's, some of the, that's some of the work that we do at FedDev Ontario and the money that we create. And I'm really proud of what we do. And if anything, the truth is I want us to double and quadruple the amount of money that we actually provide to startups. And not only to a startup in terms of the ideas, but also to help with uh, um, sort of the generation, the next step. So st uh, startup and then sort of building out a company and then keeping um, companies helping to support companies as they move to the different stages towards sort of more and more success. Um, how, many, how many people are fairly newish to Canada? So less than five years, just by show of hands. Okay, so the, the message I have to you, just because I meet with many and I always meet with anyone from the Latin American community, because again, I'm a very big champion. Um, the, the, the th um, advice I give to you is make sure you do everything you uh, can to not only learn, like deeply learn our language, but how we communicate and, and what we mean when we say things. There's enormous complexity across our cities and across Canada uh, and in our country. So get to know the way we work. Uh, we have three different levels of government and I wish I could say to you that it's easy to deal with all the levels of government, but the way to get into and learn a little bit more or find the different programs if you're not able to find it through some of your networking is go to your local politicians, city council at the a municipal level, at the provincial level, your member of uh, provincial parliament and at the national level, your, your federal member of parliament. Um, I'll also say to you that, you know, Canada is one of the best uh, countries in the world to live in, but I'll tell you, it's not easy to start a business here. It's not easy in general. But I really believe from the bottom of my heart that if you work really hard and if you take advantage of the opportunities that are before you, you will absolutely achieve your dream and the potential, whether it's for your business or for yourself. It really is possible here. I know in the US, uh, I know when I was growing up, we heard a lot about the American dream, but I'll tell you here, um, I don't know if you could say that it's an equivalent of a Canadian dream, but we have a lot of opportunities. We really believe in diversity. We truly believe that diversity is our strength, diversity of ideas, diversity of religion, diversity of cultures, and we really do our best to put the money behind trying to support that diversity, try to support uh, the different businesses that come from different international groups. We really do believe that it makes us a stronger and a better country. Um, uh, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm doing a lot of graduation speeches last night, and I saw that Barack Obama was giving a, a, a piece of advice, and one of the things he says is, don't just talk, learn how to do things. And I was saying uh, to some of the other speakers behind, uh, behind sort of the, the, the stadium here, or the, the podium here, I was saying if I had to give myself advice um, as a politician who's been wanting to do this job since the age of eight years old, um, I would, I would have tried to get a lot more experience in terms of how to get things done with multiple groups of people. We live in a world where communication's completely changed and a lot of the things that we do is online. And so I would say to you, learning how to figure out what, um, what are the values of the different people that you're dealing with, what are the different priorities that they have, how is it that you can bring different people from different, uh, whether it's parts of the world, parts of the country, different sides, uh, in terms of ideas, how do you actually bring them together and how do you actually get things done? It is a very, very difficult thing to do. So I, I would uh, recommend that that's something that you spend a little bit of time on. Um, I'd also uh, leave you with two things. How many people have watched Ted Lasso? Left hand. <laughs> so I, I just finished watching him and I'll sort of end off with two of his quotes. The best we can do is keep asking for help, accepting it when you can. And if you keep on doing that, you'll always be moving forwards better. And I really love that because I think one of the hardest things for us to do is to actually ask for help. Uh, and then when we actually get advice, follow that advice. It's really hard to do. And when I say that, just you know, all of these things I apply to myself uh, because I'll tell you, um, you always think that once you reach the top goal of your life, and so for me it was to become a federal politician, you think that I have reached it, and then you don't realize that once you've reached it, all of a sudden you see that there's 40 other mountains that you have to climb to keep on doing the things that you want to do and accomplishing the things that you want to accomplish. And you don't get everything right, you do fail a lot. And I always say to myself, when you fail, 
that means I have, I have a way of, I can learn something, and then also that means that I'm taking risks. And I think that's a good thing. So I also remind myself not to, uh, not to be fearful of failing. So the best we can do is to keep asking for help, accepting it when you can. And if you keep on doing that, you'll always be moving uh, forwards better. And then the last thing, um, the other thing he said that I just, I love this. I hope that either all of us or none of us are judged by the actions of our weakest moments, but rather by the strength we show when and if we are given a second chance. And for me, that is a lot of times we fail or we do things completely wrong or we piss off a lot of people. And then we always think, I don't know how I'm gonna find, find my way back. But I'll tell you, I, I do think that a lot of people give second chances. And so I always say to, to us that when and if we're given a, a, a second chance, let's take those moments. So I wanna say to you, thanks so much for attending today. Thanks for coming to Latin Startups. Thanks for all that you do. You're all beautiful, you're all inspiring. Be kind to each other and get out there and do great things. I hope you enjoy the rest of today's event. Thank you, merci, gracias.